it's December the 18th and the temperature is almost 12 degrees and it's a beautiful day really lovely hi everybody it's December I've just told you the date but if you were watching yesterday you will know that this particular gadget that came from the German one which I've now stuck together and it's going in the bin almost choked me what I didn't know was that a piece of fur went up my nose and it came straight down oh I've got two cats now and it came went down my my air pipe and I started choking and I, I couldn't stop so I eventually there was little snippets of me choking but I was absolutely almost ill with it so um anyway all was sorted all was better uh what a lovely way to finish <laughs> if i'd if i'd croaked it i would have croaked it on a vlogmas <laughs> anyway let's get on here she is here's trouble that's one trouble aren't you one trouble yeah one trouble and the other one has disappeared somewhere i don't know where she's gone to anyway we what Oh, there they are. Now, the black one doesn't like the white one going near her. So let's see what happens because they're quite close together. Oh, not bad, not bad. Anyway, let's open another window. We're almost getting to the end. We are on today. What are we on to? Day 19. Is it 19 today? I think I got it wrong on that thing. I'll have to change it. <laughs> um, day, is it 19 today? What day is it today? What does it say? 1359. It's 1359. Oh, look at that. My, cam my, my, I don't know if you can see. Two o'clock and it's Thursday the 19th of December. Two o'clock and it's Thursday the 19th of December. Anyway. Are you going to shut up long enough for me to show people what's in the calendars? Or are you just going to be a naughty girl all the time, eh? Yeah, you are. You're going to be naughty. Yeah, for Christmas, are you going to be naughty? Eh? Yeah. And you're going to be very good. Santa won't bring you anything. He won't. Santa won't bring you anything. Not if you're naughty. You have to be a good girl. Yeah, you have. Your sister's a good girl now. She never used to be, but she's a good girl now. Your sister. Anyway, right. So we are going to go to number 19. So let's turn this round and let you see. Okay, so where oh 19 is a fairly biggie biggie and that was part open because when I was trying to open that my hand went but it's not totally open so let's see if I can get it open and it says sewing kit luggage tag another sewing kit <laughs> the thing is if the, a lot of you are saying that you want to get one of these for next year well, I guess you're going to have the same kind of things in them, so only they'll be in different days. So you'll have to be prepared for getting the same one. Anyway, let's see what this is. Let's put you down there and see what it is. Oh, now then, this is quite a nifty little gadget. This is, if I can get it open. Look at this. I think that's rather neat. Put your name and address on the one side. And how do you open that? Oh, that lifts up that way. Let's, does it lift up? How does that open? I've just gone and broken it. Oh, dear me. We haven't even got... For, oh, it's because it's sellotaped up. That's why. Well, if you get one, ladies, don't rip it open till you've undone the sellotape. There, that's it. Right. So there's one lifts up. Like that. Does it lift up like that? Will it lift up? How does it lift up? Ah, like a book. Like a book. Let's see if I can do it like that. Well, very nice, but it doesn't work. 
You just slip that in in that gap, do you? You must have to slip your address details into that gap, right? Well, we'll close that as best we can. There. So the address details go in there, and you slip it in. Maybe you just push it in. And then on the other side, you have a little flap. Well, I don't know what you do there. A little flap for the... Ooh. Well, I'm not doing very well with this, ladies and gentlemen. Ah! <gasps> well, let's start again. Well, there you go. You have, on one side, on one side you have the address, which you slip through there. You have to slide it out and get it out and slip. And on the other side, you can see the, um, the needle case. But the way to get it out is to swish it out like that. And it's on a hinge and in there you've got all the necessary things that you would need if you went on holiday you've got a safety pin a threader a button two buttons some thread and inside the thread are your needles well that's very nice that very nice indeed and it all slides like that the only trouble is I can see that when it's on the suitcase, it'll just eventually it'll just flop off like that as it has, and you'll end up losing everything. So perhaps not the best gadget to have. <laughs> One slightly broken sewing case. Anyway, let's see what's in the German gadgets. Right, the German gadget. Right, the German gadgets were slowly getting devoid of pockets and things because this card keeps breaking off. I'm looking for number 19. Oh, this little one here. This little one there. See if I can get it out. Oh, we're getting there. There we go. Right, what does this say? This says, Offer mal was. Schafe tragen. Oh, auf dem Mal was Schafes tragen. And inside is another little box. A little box which I can't get out. Oh, it's a stuck little box. Let's see if I can. Oh, hang on a minute, folks, while I try to get my big fingers to pull it out. Oh, dear me. Hang on. So this is a little box, and I don't know what's in it. Oh, it's a little pen knife, I think. A little pen knife. A wee little pen knife with how many blades? Let's have a look. Well, this is a what I would class as a poor man's version of a Swiss Army knife. It's very good. It's got a nail file, a, sh a knife that's actually quite sharp, and a pair of scissors, but I had a great deal of difficulty getting that out. And then you have the little toothpick, and the little tweezers. Now on a proper Swiss Army knife these would be really really good gadgets to have. They'd be really quality. They're not great quality these but you know basically it's an advent calendar. We can't expect absolutely amazing gadgets but that's not bad. The knife I could use that's quite sharp. I can feel it sharp on my thumb and the nail file well could use that when if I was desperate to shit to, nail, to uh, do my nails. And the little scissors, although they're not great quality, I bet they're quite sharp anyway. And these, so these little things go into these spaces here. I don't know if I can do it one-handed. I'll I'll just slide them in, then you can see them. So basically, the tooth, the the uh, little tweezers go in there, and they slide down like that. The toothpick goes in and slides down like that. The scissors are the hardest ones because they're not great quality. And the little notch there stops it from going back in properly. And I'm going to have to force it in if I can. There, yeah, I've managed to do that. But they're not easy to get out. But not a bad little thing considering, as I say, it's, a, it's an advent calendar. Rather like a Christmas cracker type present. So, uh that will actually go in my drawer because it sometimes comes in handy when you need to do things when you're sewing. So that's day 19. The little copy Swiss Army knife and the 
sewing luggage luggage tag which I've already broken there and I've already broken there so not the best of gadgets but never mind it's not I could use those little bits inside there so that's good anyway that's day 19 oh now there's a man here who has decided that on our first day off from work that he is going to clean the whole of the bathroom and it's not just a little clean it's a massive clean isn't it proper job a proper job proper job steamer and everything <laughs> i can also do it like this i didn't catch that one under the leg my battery's running out anyway oh, so we'll no. miss that bit that's me off then but he's got curtains down cleaning the walls have you cleaned the walls yeah all Clean. done Cleaned all the dirty oh, bits, yeah. apart from that wall, cleaned the walls, cleaned the bathroom. Well, I've just made this and it's a little uh, nappy change bag uh, with, it's uh, Br'er Rabbit, is that Br'er Rabbit? Br'er Rabbit on the, uh, on it and little Br'er Rabbit um, carrots and Br'er Rabbit writing on there. It's kind of not easy to see and with a couple of poppers there i i wish that i haven't reinforced that i should have really reinforced it it's a bit floppy but there's a front pocket and there's a back pocket and so because it's floppy i have got a fold in there but uh i thought i might just stitch up that just to make it less floppy because that's better but if i take those away it really flops down uh i basically it was a there's no pattern, I just thought, oh, what'll I do? And then with it, I was using up this fabric, and because the fabric's got a one direction, I needed to make it into three pieces on the outside. So that's one piece. Uh, the underneath of that one is the second piece, and that's the third piece. And then so I, set, I joined them by a band there and a band there. So it's got a bit of room for expansion on the inside. I didn't have enough... Uh, band i had a different color here for the pocket because i just used a pack of fat quarters that i had and i was running out of buttons as well so on one there it's blue there and it's yellow on the other side and pale blue here um but it's a nappy bag and um i'm quite pleased with it it's, it's turned out nice uh considering little wrist strap for for to go poppers claws here if i can do them yeah there and there there and it's a little a little carry bag to take for mummy to take when she's just out for an afternoon and all she needs is a couple of nappies and some baby change uh baby change wipes not perfect but a quick make and uh, i've been promising this for a friend for such a long time and I kept saying, oh, I'll do it after Christmas, I'll do it after Christmas. So I've just done it. My dear, first day off, I've done this while husband was cleaning the bathroom. Is that right? That women should be sewing while husbands are cleaning the bathroom? He wanted to do it. It's his steam press. Well, I bought this steam press, which you, not a steam press, a steamer. Which, it's a jet steamer. And it's falling to bits. But we, he went and pulled it out of the shed and... Um, decided that he was going to clean the bathroom and I'll show you how what it looks like when it finished it says I've got to not walk in it oh look at the shiny floor wow look at those sparkles it's got sparkles on there you know <gasps> look at that he's worked a treat Cleaned all the walls, all the cupboards, all the walls. Towels aren't folded properly, like. They fell over. They fell <laughs> I'll let you off then. I don't do towels. Where's my curtains? Oh, no, they need washing. Oh, they've got to be washed, right, okay. No. Right, well. And the mat needs washing. Oh, well. Oh, it hasn't he done a good job, ladies and gentlemen? Um. <laughs> Hasn't he done a good job, ladies and gentlemen? 
Not just a pretty face, eh? I've gone a dead job, dental and gentleman. Dental and gentleman. <laughs> What can you smell? Do you see her? I put some catnip down there, and she can she can smell that catnip, can't she? And so can you, can't you? What's your sister doing? She's found some catnip on there. Now what about you? What about you? Can you find some? You could find some as well. And today it is number 20, which is 19, 21, I see it, it's here, the long one. Now let's see what interesting things there are in here. Oh, that won't open either. Come on. There, one side is. Come on. That way. Okay, here we go. And what is inside here? It says thread snips and another one. Oh, let's have a look at this. Well, they're not the best quality, but they are a nice little pair of thread snips. Now I've just got to work out how I get into it. There's a little thing for hanging up there, and there's a button here. Oh, what do I do there? Let me do let go with my hands. Oh, oh, that's good. Right, watch this. Ready, are you ready? You push that button and they come out. And then, how, then how do you do it? <laughs> well, that's a bit... Um, push the button and they come out. And then I suppose you use your fingers to do it like that. Which is actually quite good because if you did it further up the shank, it might prove awkward. But there... It's a lot better. Actually, it's not a bad shit. It, the edge of the blade is quite uh, sharp. Let's have a look at this piece of fabric here. Not that I'm going to be snipping fabric, but let's have a try of that. And snip that with my scissors. Oops. Oh, it does. Look. A little cut. Can you see that little cut? There. A sharp little cut as well. So that's not a bad little gadget, that. A pair of thread snippers. Now then, let's see what our German one has to has for us. And as you can see, this is looking pretty... I've taken all the, all the flaps off because they were doing my head in. Half of them were dropping off. Well, we've got 21st there, 22nd and 23rd. 20... 20th where's the 24th oh there's the 24th so there's the 20th this is the 20th now it's dinted in but I haven't opened it it's because every time I do something my thumb was going there so let me get a hold of that like that to get a hold of it to get it to come upwards there right ready what's this gonna say it says Kochen ohne I think there should be another letter there Bezuko Gin. Oh, the banana. Now, what's a banana? A soft banana. Banana key ring. What has a banana got to do with? Uh, I, <laughs> I don't know, but um, it depends on which way you hang it. <laughs> now, I said earlier on, you never talk about politics religion or sex so i am not linking this to any sexual connotation but i have a banana i have no idea what why a banana is a women's gadget but i'm going to take this to my to my room it says kochen ohne and it should say uber zokochen so 
I'll put a little thing up on the top to let you know what this means. But it's a little soft. It's very soft. Soft. Oh, I could play with that for ages. <laughs> no, stop it. Stop it. Do not talk like that. Right. Um, <laughs> so, day 20 is a pair of snippers, which are very nice, and an unusual banana key ring. <laughs> oh, this is great fun. 